watch. And oh, oh my gosh, I'm just making a mess, bro. Oh my gosh, ah, it hurt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, as you can tell by the title, is the Kylie Holiday Collection. So, um, that's why I don't have my background up. I thought the Christmas tree would be nice, even though I have to film in daylight so the tree isn't, like, shining as bright as it does at night. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go through everything with you guys, swatches. So I want to do lip swatches as well for you guys. So, first things first is the stocking. Oh my gosh, it's so soft, you guys. Like, I wish this was a blanket. I can't even describe how soft it is. Um, I love it. I love that it's all white. I already have it hung. I had it hung up in my room. It has the logo. It feels really nice. I think it would get dirty easily. So that's why I just leaving it hung up, not touching it, not messing with it. But, um, I ordered this on Black Friday. So I did get this for free. And then the holiday collection comes in a bag like this. It feels like velvet, velvety. Um, and it says Kylie. When you open it, you get this bag which I actually wanted this bag it's not so much the last one it was just plain and black but this one's so pretty um, and so yeah it has the K for the zipper her lips her logo and then on the back it says Kylie so then you open it and I will pull one thing out at a time so um, another order that I got from her were her brushes. I threw them in the bag so I'm actually going to talk about them. Why not? Um, her brushes I think are a really good deal. $35 for 5 brushes? Like no. And she recently had 20% off the brushes. And I know yesterday you could buy, um, if you buy bought an eyeshadow palette you get her brushes free. So she's winning. Um, you get a crease brush. So they do say her name but they don't say like what type of brush it is. They do feel really soft. I haven't used it yet, but I could tell I'm going to love it. Oh my god, these crease brushes right here. There's two. One's bigger, a little fluffier, and then you have a smaller one. Um, and then you have like a flat shader brush. You have a pencil brush, which this one is kind of hard, but I understand it's more like for smudging. Um, and then you have this flat brush as well. You can use this as a, on the eyelid or under the eye. So, and these are really cute to just display. They are white and black and it's just really classy. I love that. So it comes in a um, velvet filling type of pouch as well. It feels just like this bag does. First, so the first two things I grabbed, which I took them out already. These um, two, which is a metal lipstick and a gloss, I took them out of these containers. These are um, like little ornaments, so you hang them on the tree. I actually did have them on the tree. I took it down for this video and um, to take pictures and stuff. So you can hang it like that, and it's just really cute. I feel like if, it helps if you take these out so it doesn't, it's not so heavy. Um, but they're really cute, and you, they pop open has like the melting logo on there and these are like so adorable so I just hang these on the tree and let's do some swatches I'm gonna use the dancer so this is a metal lipstick and it's called dancer and we're gonna try it out So with the metals, you do have to kind of keep layering it to get a good, like, uh, to get a good result. And this is a, don't get me wrong, this is a really pretty color, but it's not a color I would gravitate towards. So here's Dancer. It's a metal lipstick. It feels really nice on the lips, 
but like I said it's not a color I would go for um, but it is a really pretty holiday color I'm just gonna take some of these makeup wipes these makeup wipes I actually am having a giveaway on my Instagram I will leave all my info in the description box and anyone can enter it's still going on through the 15th so um, you can enter for that the next color is Jolly and this is a lip gloss. Now I'm not a big fan of lip glosses. This is a really, but this is a really pretty color. You can even put this over a lipstick. I love how glossy her lip glosses are. This is definitely a really pretty color. Um, it's like a purple burgundy, I guess that's how I would explain it. Um, a lot of more purple in it, but it's really pretty. But I'm more of a matte lip type of girl, so I think I'm going to love these next few lipsticks. Okay, moving on, um, I also got a Kyliner, oh wait, not a Kyliner, it's a cream shadow, and I was, I really didn't know which one I was getting, because it didn't say, so I was like a little confused, and so I got camo, and I was really excited, it's a really, really pretty color, um, and they're very creamy, so I'll swatch it for you guys, like so creamy, oh my gosh. So there's a swatch of it. It's so pretty, you guys. I'm going to be using this soon. <laughs> Next thing are these liquid lipsticks. These are the minis. Um, there's only one in here that I already have, which is Ginger. The other ones I will try out for you guys, just because they are new to me as well. So um, this first one is Moon, and I know this is going to be my favorite one. It kind of reminds me of um, Cashmere by Lime Crime. Okay, I love this color. It also looks like Sepia by Anastasia or um, Ghoulish by Ally Splash. Um, it, is, it is a little darker than Cashmere, but it's okay. It's definitely one of my type of colors. I like those cool like mauve tones, and hopefully these aren't harder to take off. Next one is Kirsten, which I don't know if I'm going to be a fan of. It just doesn't look like it would go with me or my skin tone or like any type of look that I would do. But um, I would describe this as like a strawberry color, so we'll see.
like they say, don't judge a book by its cover. This is a really pretty color. I probably would wear this again, but it's not like an everyday color. But it is really pretty. I want to say it's like if Ginger and 22 had a baby, but it's a little more red. But it's really pretty. I don't even want to take it off. Oh my god. Um, hold on, I gotta snap a few selfies. Oh, I have 1%. How? Okay. Our lips are starting to look swollen. So next color is Angel. Angel I do not have. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Um, it kind of reminds me of Candy K, so I think I'll like it. Coco K now is a little too pink like for me to wear. Girl, this one looks like Candy K. She probably just put it in this bottle and was like, give it another name. Make fucking millions. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, I love this color! So pretty, you guys. I could definitely see me wearing this on a daily. It's definitely just like she described it. Like it, to me, it's like an angel pink. Like if an angel was wearing pink lipstick, this is what it would be. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, moving on. This next one is Love Bite, which is actually one I was like contemplating if I wanted it or not. So I'm glad I got like a sample of it. I can try it and see if I like it. So, this one is a really, really pretty color. Um, I feel like it's more for like date night or a night out. Mm. It's like a cool tone purple, but I actually really do like it. It's a really pretty color. I like it, you guys. There's one more, and it's Vixen. And it's actually the one that's in the lip kit. So, I'm going to try the lip kit out instead of the mini. Well, since we're going on with purple, um, I'm just going to go over it so it really doesn't matter. That'd be so cool if her lip liner smelled too. Oh my gosh, okay. Here is the last color, Vixen, and it's really pretty, it's just a really dark purple. I don't have Court K, so I can't compare it, but like swatches and stuff, it reminds me of Court K. I love it! I loved most of them. Um, I just probably wasn't a fan of the dancer, but everything, like I love her packaging, I love everything she comes up with. She's a genius. Um, so that does. Oh, whoa, 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 girl, you slow your roll. All right, I forgot Kai Shadow. So, um, 
she's smart she puts it in this packaging and then it's in this fancy packaging which is really nice um, open that up and then you got the palette inside I love how small and just compact it is like oh my god it has the names of the shades on here the holiday 2016 palette and her signature um, so then you got the eyes on the front with the melting drops you open it up and there's a mirror and there's a mirror you guys a mirror so um, there's a mirror and then you have this that comes off of it and then her colors so I will do swatches here is sugar cookie this is a really 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 pretty transition color next color is frosty and this is like a like silver shade I don't know whatever you want to call it Oh my god, you guys, look how pigmented this is. <gasps> wow. Alright, alright. The next shade is actually one of my favorite ones. I have two in here that I've just been like obsessing to use. Oh, my foot's asleep. And this one is called um, Chestnut. It, it, to me, it looks like a really pretty like mauve color. So, um, let's try it. Oh yes, oh my gosh, so pretty you guys. Hopefully it's picking up, I don't know if it is. It's right here. Next shade you guys is... Mittens, and it's a really pretty burgundy color. My foot's asleep, I can't do this. <laughs> You know when your foot's asleep and it just hurts to even just stay still? You can't even stay still. So here's this one. This is a really pretty burgundy color. However, it has like a sheen to it. So it's not matte. But oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> that would look really pretty with Love Bite. Here's the next shade. And this one's a really pretty one. This one I'm actually excited to use. It's called Winter. It's the blue shade right in the middle. And there it is. <gasps> oh, so pretty, you guys. Oh my god. Uh, I love it. Next shade is a really dark purple. So it's a really dark purple. Next row is down here, and this is gingerbread. It's a really pretty like brown gold color. So pretty you guys. This next one is my favorite one that I've been dying to use and it's called Evergreen. It's this middle like blue green shade. <gasps> to die for. Like that's to die for. And the last color is this burgundy color which is called Silent Night. So, so, so pretty. That concludes everything from the Vixen bundle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Um, let me know if you got anything, what you love and don't love. And I will be using most of the stuff in a tutorial soon. The palette, the cream shadow, and then some of the minis. So don't forget to subscribe so you can be on the lookout for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.